Hikmet Hajiyev is an assistant to the President of the Republic of Azerbaijan and the head of the Foreign Policy Department in the presidential administration. He joins us now from Baku. Good to have you on the program with us. What efforts are being made to put a stop to the fighting, and which has had civilians caught up in it? Yeah, thank you. Uh, and actually, this escalation has been uh, caused by Armenia. It's a result of Armenia's provocation and Azerbaijani uh, armed forces to countermeasure uh, efforts to stop uh, further provocation of Armenian side. And uh, yesterday, there was an initial arrangement about uh, ensuring uh, ceasefire along the border area. But unfortunately, since the midnight, Armenian armed forces continued shelling positions of Azerbaijan. They are now also uh, resorting to an act of uh, taking actions in some other border areas uh, of attacking the positions of Azerbaijani armed forces. And they also target on a deliberate manner and indiscriminate manner Azerbaijani civilians and civilian objects. Because uh, behind in a border area, there are densely populated villages of Azerbaijan are situated. But so far, this provocation of Armenia continues, and uh, Armenian government bears responsibility for such actions. And we, from our side, informed OSC Minsk Group co chairs and also personal representative of OSC, uh, chairperson in office in our region. Is Azerbaijan open to negotiations to bring this current round of fighting to an end? And could Turkey, which has close relations with Azerbaijan, help in that regard? Actually, first of all, we highly appreciate the position of Turkey and particularly President Erdogan's uh, stance on uh, resolution of Armenia-Azerbaijan conflict, because Turkey, based on the norms and principles of international law, supports an just position of uh, Azerbaijan for the resolution of the conflict within the territorial integrity of Azerbaijan and in accordance with the UN Security Council resolutions. And Turkey is also an uh, active member of the Minsk group process that uh, involves 11 countries or comprised of the 11 countries. In general, Turkey is also part of this process. But unfortunately, Armenian side tries to undermine entire Minsk group process. Uh, as regards to further de-escalation, Azerbaijan is always uh, ready for the de-escalation of the situation and also having a substantive uh, and result-oriented talks for the comprehensive resolution of Armenia-Azerbaijan conflict. But from Armenian side, we see from one side they're talking about the de-escalation and from another side in the evening they continue to attack Azerbaijan positions. Uh, that's not uh, sincere, but it's not as serious. It once again demonstrates that Armenia, by all means, tries further uh, escalate the situation and create additional tensions in the region and for uh, the purposes that they have identified for themselves. In the capital there in Baku, we saw protests with people calling for war. Do you think that this escalation could get to that point? Uh, and actually, they, yes, there was a uh, public anger, public dismay uh, with regard to the unresolution of the Armenia-Azerbaijan conflict, because 30 years Azerbaijan is suffering from this conflict. And we have one million IDPs and refugees, and they have a uh, just uh, you know, demand from Azerbaijani government and from the international community to return back their territories. Therefore, uh, in a sense, it's a you know, justified anger of wider Azerbaijani public. And it's also called to the international community that uh, Azerbaijani public is demanding from the government. But my government and my president pursues a uh, responsible uh, policy with regard to the conflict uh, based on the existing format of the negotiation. And we believe that the potential for the resolution of the conflict is not exhausted and there are still potential. But Armenian side, from their uh, side, by all means, trying to undermine the negotiation process. All right, we'll leave it there. Hikmet Hajiyev in Baku, thank you so much.